Dear friends, in this module, we'll be understanding what do you mean by CPU viewpoints, why it is important, because all the read and write operation which are operand does is being done with the help of CPU. So how multiprocessing is important and how CPU checks whether some interrupt is taking place or not. And we'll be also checking if multiple interrupts are coming. What are the different priorities that have been assigned to these interrupts? Now, when you look at this flow chart, the first signal which comes is issues read command to the IO module. This instruction is given by CPU to the IO module which directly gets connected to the read status of IO module, IO module to the CPU. Now, when you see there is a there is a status check. If there is an error, then a signal is generated, which is called as an error condition. Then again, if it will check whether the read command is ready to perform the operation or not. If it is ready, then it will go ahead then read word from the IO module and after reading the word from the IO module, it will write word into the memory. If the status checks comes to be negative, then it will wait for the instructions to be given by the CPU when it can go ahead and read the IO command from the IO module. This is called as a programmed IO interface. Now, what do you mean by interrupt driven IO? First of all, let us understand the word interrupt. Interrupt means some sort of obstacle. Now, obstacle can be in the form of error. Obstacle can be in the form of time or CPU time and other forms of interrupt. It may be a read operation where your IO devices are busy in reading the particular function or it may be a write operation where the devices are busy in writing the desired output. Now, interrupt driven IO mainly overcomes CPU waiting time. The second thing, no repeated CPU checking of device. And the third thing, IO module interrupts when it is ready. It will give the instruction that the device is ready. You can come and perform whatever operation, whether read or write or, or if the device is busy, simultaneously it will inform when the device is busy. Interrupt driven IO basic operations. How the process goes. First thing is CPU will issue the read command. After CPU issuing the read command, IO module gets data from the peripheral while CPU does the other work. That is, after CPU getting the read command, the data transfer is done with the help of the data bus. Then IO module will interrupt CPU. CPU will request for the data and IO module will transfer the data. Now, in this particular diagram, you can have a look on this. First thing, issue read command to IO module If it is doing something, the CPU is doing something, then insert a busy signal, else insert the other functions. For example, read status of IO module. Check the status. If the CPU is ready, go ahead and read word from the IO module and write word into the into the memory, else directly go to the read command to the IO module. And if there is no error, then go ahead and print the next instructions that needs to be followed. Now let us have a CPU overview. Issue read command. It will issue the read command. Simultaneously, it will also check if there is some other work which is coming in, other instructions are also coming in. It will check for interrupt at the end 
of each instruction cycle. If the interrupt is taking place, it will check. If there are some other obstacles or other interrupts which are coming in or other processes which are being pipelined. If interrupted, it will save text, context in the form of registers and it will process the data. Now, when it is processing the data, it will perform two types of operation, fetch the data and store the data. After fetching the data, it is also necessary to store the data, otherwise your data gets irrelevant. When there are more than one interrupt, what do we call? We call them as multiple interrupts. Now over here, each interrupt line has a priority. Now, how the priority is being placed? It may be placed with the help of the address line and it may be placed with the help of data line. And mainly the control line plays the priority in case of the interrupt. Higher priority lines are interrupted, lower priority lines. Now understand this higher priority lines can interrupt lower priority lines because it mainly depends on which signal, which priority plays a very, very important role. If bus mastering, only current master file can be interrupted. If the bus is ma mastering, Bus mastering means if the system bus is mastering, only that particular current master, all the address data and control line can be interrupted at one time. 